Hello and welcome. Today we'll be replacing some of my older systems with newer systems which use sticky pistons instead of normal pistons. And we'll be starting with uh, systems which use circuits or concepts that are built upon in uh, more examples later. So first we just have my stairs that I recently built. Check the video uh, toggling stairs for the circuit itself. More information on that, but all I've done to change it is just plaster some cobblestone on the front of it and replace the normal pistons with sticky pistons. That is literally all that was required to change this. No circuitry changes required at all. And then we just flip our button and the stairs that are now hidden in cobblestone come out and then when we flip our button again they go back in and of course as always you can do it on any input at all so we can do it there come down here flip it back off etc and so that's pretty simple all you have to do is just as i said plaster any sort of block camouflage that you want over top of your pistons and your wall and you'll get a sort of hidden set of stairs and then over here we have our gates which before were built using just pistons that you know you could see the pistons you could see through the cracks in the pistons etc but now what we can do is use any type of gate using any sort of block camouflage that we want and just attach them to sticky pistons. And I do like the way that opens. I like the double door look of it. And then they just open from the middle. Just have to apply the power to them. That's it. And then here we have a vertical version. And I've split the power so that one activates the bottom two and the other activates the top two whenever uh, they are both pressed. So here we have a sniping sort of hole here and when we flick it off it's a gate and when this is down we get the whole uh, wall and then when we flick it up we get the whole thing opening as a gate just sort of an interesting use that I found was uh, useful for a variety of different applications and they're just going through an AND gate up here is all in the AND gate up here pretty simple but now we're going to be applying that to another very simple concept and that is the light manipulation, the light switches, which are now actually light switches. Of course, they could have been as well before if I had used, you know, a bit more complicated redstone, but I was lazy. But now we have the same redstone circuit from our stairs that I just applied to two pistons here for a toggleable light proof door, since normal doors let in light and the output is just coming down same output that went to the stairs before and it's just applying itself to a inverter to make sure that it's always on and then uh, our input is here and then on the inside our other input is here and of course they do the same things and I just have redstone torches in the room to provide a very small level 7 light instead of having it uh, ridiculously light in here so you can't tell what's going on with the light switches which are very simple in concept as well. Here I just have an empty space, a block, and the sticky piston and when I flip it open the light is actually behind the block or where the sticky piston is now that way the light is actually showing through the piston itself and I don't really like it, but hey, if you don't want to actually see the light source, or you want to have the light source a bit protected for some reason, maybe if you have water in the room, that could be. If you have water in the room, this would be a very great system. If you're using torches instead of glowstone, and you don't want your torch to be broken by water that may be flowing in, this would be great for that. Of course, you can always use a glass or something, but this is very uh, quick to make and such. And here we just have a horizontal version that inverted uh, this sort of thing so that instead of it opening to reveal the light, instead it's opening to shut off the light by pushing a block in the way and then pulling it back. Of course you can use any sort of input you want, it's just for simplicity. And same here, just vertical version. Pretty simple. You can use a torch or glowstone or lava or any other sort of any other sort of light source you want. 
and next we'll be taking a look at my circuit breakers which we'll then use for the suffocation mob tra traps uh, variant and then so it should be around there just gonna jump into this tree real quick and there it is so down here is my original circuit and breaker with um, the glass fix for issues whenever the piston is touching the redstone and what we're going to do is now use sticky pistons instead which actually fixes that in the first place so you don't need glass but in this case we just have our sticky piston attached to any block which looks really weird by the way because you know I use a uh, dirt block which eventually grew grass on it so that looks kind of funny but anyway we just have the uh, lights off there and you can see that the lights on there so clearly the circuit has been broken you just flip it back off and of course we can apply the same toggling that we had before so you can just press a button toggle it off just break the circuit toggle it back on that way you can just apply that as a um, in and out for a door and such or if you have a large system which needs circuits broken all over the place to shut it down immediately you can uh, do that as well and we'll be using that circuit breaker using the sticky pistons here for the other version the sticky piston version of the suffocation mob trap now over here we have the normal suffocation mob trap and it uses two pistons or as many as you want and dirt and it just pushes the block into their head and then pushes it back out of the way and again everything that is in this video has its own accompanying video so if you want to take a closer look at its redstone circuitry there's more explanation in their own videos but down here we have our sticky piston version which in its own way might be more simple depending on how you look at it and so we just have the redstone wire coming across the back fondling up the sticky pistons to uh, activate them and then it goes through a delay and this delay here with repeaters controls how long mobs will be suffocated for so at the end of this delay it's going to go around and it's going to turn off the suffocation so the delay the power goes down through it and then first it comes in activates this and this turns on this side of our one bit uh, on or off saving system and you know it's just two inverters and whenever this is on this is off whenever this is on this is off so it just comes in there powers that side and then comes down into another delay and what this delay is is the time it allow it allots for mobs to line back up for the next round of suffocation so that their delay will be how long mobs will take to die preferably and then down here is how long you want to give mobs to line back up for the next round you know with their uh water trenches and such and then the power from that's coming on activating this here uh, other side of our one bit saving system thing and then just going around and then activating our pistons again so it's just this is the output and then that's sort of the input in a way so it's just looping like that and of course in these automatic systems that just keep going constantly you always need a kickstart to uh, begin the system whenever you log back in because as you see we have our values being saved on these sides here when we don't want them to we, it should be continuously going so in order to kickstart our system I have a circuit breaker and a button to power it because if we had some power over here all we would have to do is just close the circuit and start it back up and that would send the pulse down and then we would just close it back up again and wait until the power dies down until everything sort of settles and all the power reaches its uh, you know static state but whenever we don't have that what we can do is just flick the button on to send a pulse down and break the circuit wait until everything dies down there we go and then we can just start the circuit back up and as you see the power is coming down yes and it's just giving them time to line up suffocated line up suffocated and of course you're going to want it to be a lot longer delay than this but for examples this works quite well 
and um, if you have a smaller system I don't even use something like this what I do is I just break the one or two repeaters or whatever because for example on this system we just have you know one or two repeaters worth of power and I just replace them and you can probably do that down there you know I accidentally missed one here I guess but uh, you can do the same thing down there most likely by just replacing one or two bits of redstone or whatever but you know I prefer to just use the circuit breaker and not have to worry about that sort of thing and so that concludes the sticky pistons um, replacements and now I just wanna show one more thing that is a bit unrelated and whenever I was looking at the trash compactors I was reviewing all my videos and finding out ways I can replace the pistons with sticky pistons and when I came to the trash compactors, I had an idea of replacing the pistons with a sticky piston and a block on top of it. That way, we could avoid the problems that I mentioned before, where if you threw the items in the back and pressed the button, they wouldn't fly. And the same thing with the horizontal version. The items would not fly forward unless they were dead center. I mentioned that before, but now I found out that it wasn't even necessary because you can actually, it's been fixed now and it wasn't fixed before but now in the newer versions it's been fixed and we can send them into our preferred destruction method without worrying about any fixes such as you know replacing it with a sticky piston and a normal block so that's really great to know and um, I would still naturally recommend a safer alternative such as this or this again watch the videos if you want more information but you know it's uh, it's great it's been fixed I just thought I'd uh, mention that you know instead of um, instead of people using the uh, systems they don't prefer just to avoid that problem so uh, that should be about it for this particular video and I'll see you next time